Liv. Today I am going to be veganizing cinnamon rolls. I wanted to try to make a recipe for cinnamon rolls that doesn't take like six hours including all the rising time and all of that. So I have this. Do you see how old this is? <laughs> Look how gross that is. So this is my grandmother's recipe for Jiffy cinnamon rolls and basically they're just cinnamon rolls that you don't have to let rise. I'm going to try and veganize this because it's currently not vegan, it has milk and butter. So yeah, let's just get started. The first thing we need to do is combine flour, white sugar, baking powder, and salt. And then we cut in the butter until it is crumbly. We need two cups of flour. two tablespoons of white sugar, so I'm using raw cane sugar. Four teaspoons of baking powder. I'm just mixing all of those dry ingredients together. Do you guys like my little movable cart thing that I got? I got on sale at this home store that we have here called Canadian Tire. It was originally like $130 and I got it for $50. It's like a little rolly cart thing. It's awesome. And then I need to cut in um, the quarter cup of margarine. So here it says margarine or butter, so I'm just using vegan base cell. Tip, when a recipe says to cut in butter, it just means use a fork or I have one of these pastry, it's I think called a pastry cutter, it has little wires and you just use it to cut it up. So you're not mixing the butter in like it's a cookie dough, you want to cut it so that it's little tiny pieces, like it'll look crumbly. To be honest, I don't really know why people cut things in for pastry. I'm guessing it has something to do with making it kind of flaky. Like who figured this out, honestly? Who was like, yeah, let's just chop it into little pieces rather than totally mixing it. So I'm just cutting it with this thing like this until the flour, you can see how it looks kind of crumbly. It's not as powdery as it was before. So that is how you cut butter. And then the last thing we need is to just um, get a cup of milk or non-dairy milk. Next, before you pour in the milk, you're just going to make, it's called a well in the center, so you just kind of make a hole in the center with the rest of the flour and butter mixture around the sides and you pour the milk into the center and then you just stir it up. I think that's just so that if you poured it all over the flour would get all clumpy but I think this is to just help it mix easier but again like these old school recipes all involve doing stuff like this and I don't really know why. So I've got a big ball of dough and just um, floured this board and I'm just going to plop the dough. I'm just going to roll it in the flour and it says to knead it 8 to 10 times. So 2, 3, 4, 5. If you don't know how to knead you just press it and then fold it over and then press it. I think that's 7, I don't know. 8, roll it in some more. Nine and 10. So we're just going to flour the rolling pin and we're going to roll this out into a long rectangle. So now we have a perfect long rectangle. Now you want to get a knife, a quarter cup of softened butter and you're just going to spread it all over this. So you want to leave an edge on the end 
without butter or else they're not going to stick together and you want the dough to stick to itself. The filling is just made up of a cup of brown sugar and then like one to two tablespoons of cinnamon. So here I just have a cup of brown sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. And you can use a spoon, but I'm just going to use my hands for this. You're just going to mix it up so that it's like not... Oh my god. <laughs> like I just did the cinnamon challenge. I like can't breathe. You're going to take it and just start sprinkling it all over. We're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. To roll it up, you just start at the bottom. Make sure it's actually rolling and not just pushing everything. Because that will happen. Basically with these, you kind of just have to go like back and forth along the things so that they actually roll. And voila! You're going to cut your cinnamon roll dough thing into chunks and put each one into one of the muffin spots of the muffin tin. You could also make the rectangle like bit longer this way and shorter this way so that you'd have less rolls but they would be bigger but I find they're pretty good if they're about this size. There. So you've got them all in your muffin tin and then just kind of push them down a little bit like this because these ones tend, well, from what I remember when I made these when I was younger, these ones tend to puff up, so you just wanna like push them down into the muffin tin a little bit. That's what they will look like. Put those into the oven for, it says 10 to 12 minutes, but just keep an eye on them. Like, you'll probably know when they're looking done, they'll be a bit golden on top, so I'm gonna put mine in for 10 minutes, check them if they need longer, I'll put them in for 12, and then I will update you on how it went. Hey guys, they took about 12 minutes exactly. Um, they are, you can tell because they're like firm to the touch but still soft. Mine got a little bit burnt when the sugar leaked out but that's okay. So these look absolutely incredible. They just pop right out of the pan. Ow! What? Look at these. They're so cute. So obviously these aren't exact um, duplicates for real cinnamon rolls that rise and all of that, but they are so close and for the amount of time that they take, I think they're definitely worth it because if you want cinnamon rolls right away, then you would definitely make these. You wouldn't want to wait for dough to rise and then rise again and then rise again and then cook. I hope you guys make these. I hope you love them. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it inspired you to veganize some of your old recipes. Bye.